Why well, out there all you viewers of the day later? How are we doing today? I know. You can see right down here. We got a box. We got a box full of stuff. It's later on in the month, so that only means one thing. The PMP prep box is back on the channel. This month's going to be a little different, okay? You might want to pay attention to this one right after we roll that intro. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for staying past that intro. Now I'm gonna drop a, quick, a couple quick housekeeping things on you. Number one, if you like what you're about to see in this video, please go ahead and hit that big old thumbs up. It's only gonna show love and support for the channel and be very appreciative of it. Number two, if you're a first time viewer of this channel, I wanna say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, we do things really, really differently here on this channel and you're gonna see a big example why right here in this video. I like to really attribute my channel to like a burning clown car. You're never actually sure what you're going to see, but it's really going to be highly entertaining, really amusing, and sometimes really educational too. So, for you first timers and long time viewers who have yet to subscribe to the channel, take a look right down below. You're going to see a big old channel watermark popping up. Go, well, I should say it's little, little one down in the corner. Go ahead, click on that thing. It should bring you right to subscribe. You can knock it out the way early. All right, as I said, the PMP prep box for January 2020 is here. This is the first one of the new year. I believe it's the 23rd box that we've done. Look right up top. You're going to see a card for every single PMP prep box we have ever brought to the channel. There's been some really interesting gear in there and there's been some really, well, you know, some things in there. Now I am going to state before we go any further, I'm going to show you the packing list in a moment with an MSRP. I do not put much faith in an MSRP because that's what the manufacturer says it's worth and Jason really can't sit and go, hey, this is what I bought it at, but this is what we're going to say the value's at. You know, I, that's just my whole thing. I don't put much stock in it. Now, with the PMP Prep Box, it is a monthly subscription box that only has one level. You pay Jason 100 bucks, he puts some good stuff in a box, mails it to you, and hopefully you're happy. That's basically how subscription boxes work. It's kind of the mystery factor. But okay, as we always do, we're gonna show you the packing list. Got it, got it, might wanna hit pause. Okay, it's gone. That's right, there's only two items um, in this month, okay? Now as Jason said right here on the bottom of the note, there will be more focus on gear rather than knives after a lot of feedback. Check the back of the info sheet for a note, collect three notes, and win a free prep box. Well, there's the back. So I didn't win one this month. That's quite okay. I didn't get a note. That's all right. Now, what I like about the prep box, before I show you the gear, <laughs> is Jason puts a lot of effort to putting gear that you can actually use, as opposed to filler items like other subscription boxes do. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, Jason, I got to thank you, bud, because I was about to order this today via Amazon. First item up with an MSRP of $34.95 is the WorkSharp Guided Field Sharpener. I have been wanting one of these things forever, all right? It's got like the 20 and the 25 degree little bevels. You just draw it across the little diamond stones. It gives you a great little touch up. There's a strop right here. There's a ceramic honing rod right here. It even lets you do fish hooks you know, broadhead arrows, you know, small little tools. It's a versatile thing to have in your pack. I like this a heck of a lot better than some of those um, itty bitty little like ceramic carbide cutters you can find like from Smith's or Gerber or anybody else under the sun. I know, I just bashed Gerber on my channel, but still. I like this a heck of a lot better than those because Workshop puts a lot of effort, a lot of time, and just a lot of everything into developing it. What I like is you can remove the you know the diamond plates and put in your own if you need to. So that's pretty freaking cool. Like I said, I was going to buy this myself earlier. I held off for some reason. Jason, thank you, brother. Now, the next item up, and it is the huge ticket item in the box. Has to be, right? It's the Kaiser Sea Lion fixed blade with VG10 steel, MSRP of basically 120 bucks. Okay, for those of you familiar with my channel, you know the channel, the camera just took another dump. So what I was saying is it first came in this box that I totally had to destroy to get in there. Then you had to go to what I'm calling like the jeweler's box. And I've already got the knife out of here. 
So in there is basically the little info from Kaiser, you know, your little warranty things, the little chamois cloth that they give you to help wipe the blade down. And, well, there it is with its sheath. It's got little, uh, I like it, yeah. Well, basically, it's a one-position kind of kydex sheath because there's really not much you can do with that to rotate it to, like, a scout carry and still have it really secure on the back. So, you know, it's no big deal. It's very secure, very snug in there. Okay, and there's the little VG10 thing right there. I gotta tell you, honestly, it fits pretty good in my little hand. You know, it just, it fits perfectly in there. I do love the little swells in here that just make it fit beautifully right in your palm. Not to mention a little bit of jimping right here, so, you know, it's gonna be great for any kind of small kind of work you need to do. I'll be honest, I'm shocked at the value of it, other than maybe the steel, because it's a small, small fixed blade. And it comes just by feel pretty freaking sharp. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I usually don't do this, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to for this time. Go to the handy dandy smartphone. I'm going to pull up um, Blade HQ. I think we can all pretty much Blade HQ and Knife Center are good, reliable sources for what a value of a blade is. And I'm going to look up the Kaiser Sea Lion. And this is why I don't put much faith in MSRP inside a subscription box. Because there's been some where... Oh, well, heck, look at that. Okay, so that's pretty much spot on. Okay, so look right there. Hopefully you can see that. The MSRP is 170 slash to their sale of 119 So that's why I don't put a huge heck of a lot of stock in MSRPs. Because you can always go to Amazon, you can always go to eBay, you can always go to any third-party online reseller and find it a lot cheaper than the MSRP. That's just me. Now, specifications for this, that's 8 inches? Uh, overall, overall it's 8 inches. Blade 3.625, blade material, VG10. Yeah, flat grind, drop point style, plain edge. Where is it? There we go. Made in China. But you will see a full breakdown on this later on on my channel. I don't know, I think I can find some neat uses for it for a pack knife. Oh, there we go. Cool. I was looking for that. In Kydex sheaths, you should always have a little hole in the bottom for water drainage. I'll probably widen that out a little bit just to make sure it flows out pretty perfectly. Okay, so that's it for the prep box. Now, what I have done ever since he rolled it out is I also buy what he calls his budget blade box. This month's is by Kershaw. And I guess it's the Showtime. And that's this little guy right here. I like the way it looks. I like the fit and finish of it. I really, truly do. Um, it's got a reversible pocket clip, a little frame lock there, made in China that you can see right on the side. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, let's look it up on Blade HQ. Okay? Okay, so basically, I paid 30 bucks, I think it was 30, for the budget blade box. It was between 20 and 30. So according to Blade HQ, the MSRP is 55, 54, whatever, and look at that, on sale for 31. So I got more than my money's worth right with that guy. And in case you're wondering, Blade Steel's 8CR 13 MOV, overall length 6.875 inches. It's got a black satiny finish. Yeah, you can see that. Um, hollow grind, drop point style, made in China. Okay, you will see a full breakdown on this on my channel as well. Okay, guys, so that's this month's PMP prep box. I gotta be honest, I'm happy with this. Very, very happy I got that. I was going to buy it, so I get it anyway. 
made a steal right there, according to, you know, Blade HQ. Made a heck of a steal. I don't know much about Kaiser Blades. I think I have three total that I've actually gotten two of them from the prep box. So I really don't know enough to talk about them to say how much I'm happy about it. It's a neat little fixed blade that I'm sure I can find a use for. If not, I can make a trade for somebody else for something else. So do I think I got my money's worth in this box? I, I don't know. I'm calling it a eh. I really don't know because I don't know that much about Kaiser Blades. So I can't make an accurate say, oh my God, this box is a home run. This box is awesome. This box is wonderful. But I am going to say this, I'm looking forward to what Jason does in the future. Because as he said on his note down there, there'll be more of a focus on gear rather than knives. And I can see why. Because when you pay 100 bucks and the cost of that blade with the MSRP, you've already made more than what you paid for. And I know, don't go by the MSRP like I just showed you with Blade HQ, but still. All right, now I know I'm starting to ramble a little because there's only like two items in this box and the budget blade box. But I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comment section. You know, leave a real comment down there, not just fuck this box, this box sucks, oh my god, I hate this. Let me know what you feel about this box, especially if you've used Kaiser Blades before. Because seriously, I think I have like one folder that I like. And I've gotten two fixed blades from the PMP prep box that I really haven't used much. And I probably should because I need to review them both. Well, the other one that's been sitting upstairs for a while, and this guy. Like I said, it feels good in my hand. I just... 120 bucks? Really? Wow. I don't know. But... On that note, <laughs> for you first time viewers of the channel, I want to say thank you once again for finding this video. Look, I know it's a little weird, like I said in the very beginning, but hey, I'm trying to be honest with it. And I don't know, I, I, I got an item I liked. I got a blade at a better price than I thought I would. And a, well, I don't know that much about that one, so I can't really say. But <laughs> I hope you like what you saw. And if you didn't, hopefully you'll like what you see in the next video. Now, for you first time viewers, and you long term viewers who didn't subscribe at the beginning of the video, why don't you leave a comment down below as why you haven't subscribed yet. I'd love to know and see what I can do to earn your subscription. Now after you've done that, go ahead and look in that corner right there. You're going to see a big old channel symbol popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing, it'll bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and destroyed that thing, if you would like to, please go ahead and destroy that bell icon. Here's why. Once you do that, you'll be notified every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now speaking of videos, two are going to be popping up on this side of the screen. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. The PMP Prep Box for January 2020. It's starting the year off with a... Let's see where it goes from here. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day today.